Hey guys, welcome to Nathan's Car Care. I'm Nathan, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a better way to paint the plastic trim on your vehicle. So a little over a year ago, I made a video on how to restore auto trim. And in the video, I used automotive trim paint, which I got from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And it worked pretty good for what it was. However, since I made that video, I've come across another product that's going to work even better, and it comes in a bunch more colors. And what that is, is enamel paint. Now there's two main brands of enamel paint. You've got the Duplicolor, and you have the Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum is not automotive specific, it's kind of just a general purpose enamel. Whereas the Duplicolor is made specifically for vehicles. So the Rust-Oleum is a high performance enamel. It's very tough. It's a really hard to put dings in this once it's fully cured. However, the curing process takes a really long time. The back of the can says 24 hours, but from my experience, it can take a lot longer. If you're putting more than just one coat on, expect it to take anywhere between 3 to 14 days. That's a huge mark against it, especially for this purpose, because we want to get the trim back on the vehicle as soon as possible. The Duplicolor, on the other hand, dries very fast. I've put up to four coats on and it's dry in just two to three hours. So you're not going to have an issue with waiting for a week or two for this to cure. The Duplicolor is also very tough as well. I haven't had any issues with it taking scratches or dings after it's been painted. Another advantage is that Duplicolor paint matches factory finishes. So that way you can get the exact same color as what is on your vehicle. That is a huge benefit. So if you want to match the trim, then the Duplicolor is definitely the way to go. Now before we apply the enamel paint, the Duplicolor, I'm going to put on this Duplicolor primer, which is Plastic Adhesion Promoter. This will help the paint stick a lot better to the plastic so that you get a much better finish. And then after we put the Duplicolor paint on, I'm going to apply Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. Yes, Duplicolor does have an equivalent if, that's, if you'd rather stick to just Duplicolor. But I'm going to put this on because the paint does not advertise that it's UV resistant and it's the UV rays from the sun that break down the colors over time so I'm going to put this on to at least slow it down if not completely prevent it. But the first step is we have to get our trim piece and then we have to clean it really well so let's go ahead and do that. So today I'm going to be repainting the windshield cowls for my truck. So what we need to do is I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, paper towels, we need to wipe down the whole entire thing, I'm going to let it air dry, and then we're going to spray the adhesion promotion on both the parts. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a couple coats of adhesion promoter. The instructions on the back say to shake the can of course and then to apply two to three light coats allowing three minutes between each coat. And the important thing is is that you have to apply the top coat within ten minutes of your last coat of the adhesion promoter. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have applied the last coat of the adhesion promotion. So now we are going to apply the engine enamel spray paint, just like we did the adhesion promotion 
The Duplicolor says to apply two light coats and then one medium wet coat with about 10 minutes between each coat. Make sure you apply all the coats within an hour. The reason that that is important is that with enamel paint, if you allow one of the coats to dry a little too much and then you put another coat on top, that coat you put on top will slightly dissolve the coat underneath and then once everything's dried you'll end up with a wrinkled finish. It does not look good at all. So make sure you apply them like the can says. Make sure you do it within an hour so that you don't get that problem. If it's a hot day it's probably going to be less than an hour that you have. The hotter the day the direct sunlight that's going to really speed up the amount of time that you have to apply all the coats. Okay, so we've put on all three coats of paint. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry for a full hour. And then we're going to put the clear coat on top of that. Okay, so this is fully dried now. You can touch it. 100% dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Rust-Oleum. Again, you could use the Duplicolor version if you have that. I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum Clear Enamel Clear Coat. Just to go over the top, help protect this from the UV rays from the sun. So it's a good idea to let your parts sit in the sun for a couple hours after you've painted them. What this will do is it'll harden the enamel so it's less likely to take scratches when you go to put the parts back on your vehicle. Alright guys, so that is how you repaint your vehicle trim using enamel spray paint. It works really well and once it's fully cured, it's extremely durable. That's the key. Make sure that you don't handle it much until it is fully cured. I usually give mine a couple hours and then I'll put it back together. Because if you nick it before it's fully cured, then it's going to be very visible. Alright guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button. Share the video with all your friends and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot when you do those three things. And don't forget to check out my website, NathansCarCare.com. There's a lot of great resources over there, as well as a link to my Amazon web store where you'll find a lot of the items that I use in my videos. So make sure you check it out, NathansCarCare.com. And until next time, this is Nathan, signing off.